Hi, it's Julia from Russian Speaking Club. We noticed that you really liked the video about MSU, so we decided to make another video about the university. And today we will talk about the features of educational programs and studying courses at Moscow State University. So let's get started! Every student at Moscow State University studies at a certain faculty, fakultet in Russian. So it can be the faculty of medicine, it can be the faculty of chemistry, faculty of physics, and it can be the faculty of history where I study. And all the following information that I will tell you based on my experience of studying at historical faculty. Moscow State University has my favorite feature inter-faculty courses. In this case, the courses are series of lectures. Yes, it's simple this way. Inter-faculty courses are courses of lectures of the student's choice, which you can take at another faculty. For example, I sign up uh, for the MFK at the Faculty of Journalism, which is located in the center of Moscow. And today I will show it to you. So, as I said, uh, the Faculty of Journalism is located in the center of Moscow. So, here we are and here you can see the red square over there. Yes. And over there... Wait, no, 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 you can see this. But there is a glass roof. This is the Faculty of Journalism. So, here we are in the center of Moscow. And let's go to the Faculty of Journalism. We have a monument of Lomonosov. And there we have uh, a little bit of reparation work. And this is uh, the library of uh, Faculty of Journalism. So you can go there only if you have the student ID card. So this is how the building looks like inside. This is the main hall. And again, you can see Lomonosov here and the beautiful, beautiful glass roof. This is just insane. Here we have a little cafeteria and co-working co space. Actually, I'm late now, so I tried to do this video quick because it's not good for me to be late. A glass piece of roof. My class. Oh my god, sorry. What a beauty. Look at this there. And we also have this illegal students' exhibitions of uh, contemporary art. I don't know. It's like collage collages and it's made uh, by students of faculty of journalism here we have a little buffet situation and here you can have your meal with this view <laughs> yes you're welcome near this cafeteria situation you have a little exhibition yes again about radio television and other stuff for journalism I need to hurry up to my class because I'm late again
So, unfortunately, today was my last lecture on this interfaculty course. We talked a lot about Chekhov's story, boring story. We discussed it a lot and it was very interesting. And we discuss also theater and art. Next week we should come there just to give uh, zachotki to become a zachot. And about zachot and zachotki I talked in a previous video about MSU, so check this out. Now I will talk a little bit about the faculty of journalism because, okay, I'm here for this. Actually, a separate video is required to tell about the whole history of this building because at my faculty we had the whole para, <laughs> the whole class about this building and about the history of MSU, about how MSU is was located and about how it is located now and Uh, as I said in my previous video about MSU, uh, my building, Shuvalov's Corpus, is located on Vrabyov Gore. It is far away from city center and this building, the faculty of journalism, plus buildings of uh, psychology faculty, of medicine faculty and, and others uh, are located there in the historical center of Moscow State University. So here we can see another beautiful, beautiful stairs. And from the window we can see historical museum on the Red Square and the Kremlin. Another beautiful corridor. And behind all of these doors cabinets or auditory are located. Here you can see the list of those who studied in the Moscow State University, actually in this, who studied in this actual building. And there are many famous names. For example, Van Wiesen, Zhukovsky, Chadaev, Gribayedov, Tupchev, Gertsen, Goncharov, Lermontov. My favorite writer, Aksakov, Turgenev, Solovyov, Fiat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Smilov, Brusov, Belly, Yelin, Pasternak. So this little exhibition tells us a little about the history of this building and how it's, it looked like in uh, 19th century. So here's the story. Nikolai the first bought this building from Pashkov, uh, who was his secretary and who uh, wanted to make this whole building uh, his private personal estate. But uh, Nikolai the first bought this building from him and uh, presented it as a gift to Moscow State University and because Moscow State University had um, back to these days only one building it is uh, the faculty of medicine now so with this building MSU has become even more bigger and even more prestigious if I may say so So after the second or even after the third restoration, the architect of this building decided to make uh, more free space here, adding uh, the glass ceiling and the stair, and he made their like uh, Italian palazzo space. I'm really happy to have this amazing opportunity to be a part of MSU and a part of MSU history, if I may say so. So, some faculty study for four years. This is a bachelor's degree, baccalaureate in Russian. And some of them study for five or six years. This is a speciality, specialitet in Russian. A course or course in Russian is not only a certain cycle of lectures or classes. In Russian, kurs 
is also how long have you been studying at the university. Your course is called depending on the number of the years of the study at the university. So the first year, первый курс, uh, is the guys who have just entered the university, like the freshman year. The second course, второй курс, is uh, the guys who have been studying at the university for two years and so on. For example, I'm finishing my third year at the university. Я заканчиваю третий курс, which means that I have been studying at Moscow State University for three years and soon I will move on to the fourth year, which uh, will be the last one because I'm becoming the bachelor's degree at MSU. Each course is about 200 people and such course is divided into small groups of 10-12 people depending on the language you will be learning. For example, I studied in a group that studied German and we also have Italian, French, Spanish and of course English study groups. Our university education at Moscow State University at the Faculty of History consists of lectures, lekcije, language classes, языковые занятия, seminars, seminary, and practices at the end of each year. Praktiki. Lectures and language classes concepts are more or less clear and seminars. Seminary. At seminars we study a specific topic with a teacher and in small groups of 10-12 people and then discuss it. We also discuss their our paper works, our coursework or our reports. Kursavaya i Daklad. I talked about their differences in the previous video. Check it out. Kursavaya coursework. That's why it's called like that. You write each kursavaya once a year, once a course. So course, kursavaya. There are four practices at the historical faculty of Moscow State University. Each practice is at the end of one course, one year. In the first year, archaeological practice. In the second year, library practice. In the third year, archival practice. In the fourth year, pedagogical practice. So let's get back to classes. If there are lessons at school, then at the university we call classes pari and zanyatia. Couples uh, pari are held in classrooms and in Russian it is auditoria, auditorium or cabinet, office in English. Okay, I think that's uh, all for today. So write in the comments if you want uh, videos like that and uh, the videos about MSU so I can, we can make it and see you soon.